Hi, my name is Alex Baker. I'm here today to show you the chapter module for alumni associations. This is located at module.tke.org. I'm currently on the alumni tab, and this is where it lists your alumni associations members or potential members. If you are a chapter based association, the headquarters automatically ties every member of your chapter scroll when they become an alumni directly to this alumni association. If you live or if your association is an area association, we do it by zip codes. So you would give us whatever metro or state zip codes that you're using. And then the database automatically looks at people who potentially could be members. One piece that's really great is if there is a recent address update, there will be a green check mark right here that shows you that this person recently has moved into the area, or at least we have gotten an update that their address has changed to this area. You can click on the header and it will sort that list for you so you can see those people up front. This is a great way to contact potential new members, welcome them to the area, and invite them to come to a, a future event. Additionally, on this page, you can use the filter. This gives you the ability to search your database for your association. So if you are living in a metro area, your association is part of a metro area, you might have thousands of potential members. So you want to look for people who live in a certain dip, uh, zip code or are initiates from a certain chapter. You can use this ability and hit search. Next, on this page, you also have a couple of additional pieces of information and links you can click. Download these results to Excel, automatically gives you this list based on what you have filtered. You can also generate mailing labels as well as a directory report from here. Now I'm gonna click into my record to take a look. This gives you information about me and each of one of your, your existing members of your association, whether they're potential or current members. So you have contact information, birth dates, et cetera. On the alumni settings tab that I showed you in our previous video, you can see what options that we have for this year. So I'm gonna say that I have paid local dues for this year and I'm active at a $0 amount. Additionally, I can select areas of interest. So after attending an event, you might find out that I am really interested in helping chapters with career development and St. Jude. Go ahead and hit save. And now you will be able to actually search based on that information. Next, we can go to the dues payment page. Next, we have event registrations. In here, we show a list of every event that a member has attended. You can see, you have access to see all of the events they've attended at the international level, as well as have the ability to add an event on the event form through the chapter dashboard. Next, you can add some text notes about a member if there's information like Alex has a five-year-old son for example, you can put that information in here. You have the ability to categorize each of these notes as well. Next on the demographics tab, you can add information about spouse, children, as well as employer information. On the list tab, you can add a member to an existing list. You can create other lists on the alumni settings tab. And finally, our committees tab. You have the ability to add members to a committee like an event planning committee or steering committee of some sort. This gives you the ability to create a new committee as well as add a current member. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at tke.org.